Hello, and welcome to what will be the last 30 for this particular episode, or mini-series, because we are already in... Overtime! As the thumbnail probably already told you. So anyway, um, I'm doing this around the outside because I'm going to admit to you that I've been playing this a long time. <laughs> probably 12 to 14 hours since um, the last episode, actually. So, that being said, we have worked round the clock for research, and we were dealing with plenty of herds of, like, muffalos and elk that were passing through. So we had an influx of meat, and this is what the base looks like now. So, if you're wondering what's been going on, uh, I expanded the hospital because the one I had just wasn't big enough. And we did advanced research. And I did a couple of quests where they gave me gold, and then I wasted it on dumb stuff like the research bench and this throne thing because I was working for the Exodus Empire and they kept giving my characters of choice titles, and I had to have to have, I had to have a room that was befitting of that title. So I just grew it off of her bedroom. And so it's got a throne room with braziers and everything. And then I moved the meditation room over here. This is a sculpture that I had somebody working on, which I believe is an art table type thing. Um, is it here? No, that's the smithy. Well, needless to say, I've been very busy, and I've gotten not a whole lot of sleep, and I've had to work, you know, nine-hour days in between all that, too, so. We had a blight. I had to chop down all the crops and start them over. Apparently, I don't have power going to that door because I forgot to run the wires down this wall. It's fine. No big deal. We'll get through it. I think I even... Oh, I didn't. Okay. Well... So, things I need to do. I still need to finish paving tiles. This is where it's mid to late game. So, just for your information, when I got the high-tech research bench and the multi-analyzer, it helps speed things along in research. So, we've been doing a lot of research, as you can tell. Pemmican and things like that, because I was trying to start venturing out to other maps. Uh, musical instruments because the game demanded that I give more entertainment options. Um, as you can see, we had a herd of like buffalo or whatever and I just slaughtered all of them. And because I'm not in a crisis for meat right now, they're just sitting there frozen. But anyway, most of this stuff is uh, mid to late game. Late game is actually what I was starting to work towards, but besides the fact that this is a final episode, the only thing left for me to really research to finish this particular mode is the starship parts. And then what you end up doing is you build the ship, usually just somewhere next to your base. But they added a new mechanic to the game, and I kind of like it. You build the ship, and as soon as you start powering up the reactor, it takes four days. And that pretty much makes every single character in the game aggro coming at you trying to steal your ship. So, essentially what you're going to want to do is... I'm not going to be able to show it to you this episode because I just can't research the ship parts fast enough. But I think... I got ripped off earlier. The last mission I did, there was a ship that landed, crash landed, and I had to defend it for a couple of days until rescue could arrive. What ended up happening was is the rescue ship landed next to the the broken one and it was supposed to leave me the broken ship to salvage but it disappeared when the rescue ship took off so whatever the game keeps telling me I need a new animal pen but the problem I've run into right now is I've already sentenced all these animals to die I have no use for them I don't want them and yet nobody's coming to kill them and I'm starting to wonder if it's because of my animal handling skills. Like, I'm going to have to bump up priority a bit. Because somebody's going to have to slaughter these damn ducks. And if you're wondering why I turned my, my 
uh, community into Howie Mandel because I got sick and tired of food poisoning and animal filth and dirt or whatever. So now they all have to clean before they can do anything else because I'm just sick of it. Where the hell is everybody? Like my whole town of people are just gone. What's going on? Where is everybody? I wonder if they're all out cleaning things. Oh, there's a marriage going on. They finally did that. That was actually from a few days ago. I set up this marriage location. Wow. They finally did the wedding. Okay. This whole time, I've only had like, I think, two couples pair off. Everyone else, oh, there we go. Someone just slaughtered an animal. Hell yeah, what is this? Dead chick. Come on, someone's gonna have to pick up these bodies here. Yo, what are you doing? Why don't you prioritize hauling the chicks? That would be good. Like, don't just leave them around. What the hell's the matter with you? There you go. Robert, Hank, uh, you wanna go consume a meal. You're gonna haul a chicken first. Then you can eat. Something happened to my door there, too. So this is the part of the game where it's maintenance and survival. And, like, as you can see, I cannot keep up with the kibble demand right now. Kind of frustrating. Probably because I have the wedding thing going on, huh? Yeah, that's what it is. So no one's doing their job because right now everyone's at a wedding. So I'm going to speed this up so hopefully the wedding will end faster. Man, some, like, Clay is really drunk. Like, he just keeps throwing up. And someone's cleaning up after him constantly, so I'm not really worried about it. The kibble thing is going to start to bug me because it's going to come up with animal starvation and then I'm going to feel guilty. But at least we slaughtered all the animals. Oh, good, all the ducks are dead, too. Haha. <laughs> So anyway, as I was saying earlier, um, I've been busy, obviously. Uh, I made the living spaces. I made the animal barn. I made uh, room for just storage of clothing and things because this was getting really cluttered in here. So I turned this into, I think it's just a, uh, what do they call it? I think they just called this room the kitchen. But now it's so multi-purpose they don't call it anything, apparently. Okay. This was the old hospital with the doctor. Now it's his bedroom, and I gave him a harpsichord. So he's, like, super happy. Everybody's super happy, actually. And I've been able to... What are you doing? No, I want you to repair this door. Thank you. Like, that door's been broken for a while. Fix it. There we go. Alright, so I got them hauling the booty. And let's figure out why the butcher table sucks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to deconstruct that table. And I'm going to build a better one because I think I can now. Right? How much plasteel do I have? 169? Yeah, I can do that. I'm not going to be able to build the ship in time, so... Hmm... I don't think it makes it faster. Yeah, it's... The material doesn't matter, so never mind. I'm not going to... I'm going to cancel that. What I do need is someone who's good at cooking. And I can't remember who I have assigned to cooking, so let's take a look. Isis. She does cooking and cleaning. So, Isis, you're going to be focusing on this today. I've got the priorities a little screwed up on the list, I think is what it is. It's starting to prevent people from doing other things. So, because I need cooks, I'm going to cancel the cleaning for the cook. And Matthew doesn't clean anyway, so that's good. And he's the doctor, but when he's not doctoring, he can cook. So let's do that. Because I've got two kitchen things. 
and I need to slaughter these animals. I need all this stuff hauled away. I got plenty of people who should be able to come and clean up this mess. All right, so if I could just focus for a minute, I was trying to explain what the late game is like or the end of the game is like. So what I would do with the new system that they have in place is I would build walls in a couple of rings, I think. And then inside the layers of the rings, I would put a bunch of turrets, these, the auto cannon turrets, because these things are badass. They got tons of defense. They use up a lot of electricity, but these geothermal generators pretty much handle that for me. Um, so I would probably surround, like see how the, there's these rings here on the screen? I would build like rings probably like four deep and just line the insides of the rings with auto cannon turrets and a couple of these sem uh, mini turrets to sort of stagger the fire and then put the ship in the middle. And then that way, what I can do is I can draft all my people and just leave them in town because everyone's gonna come after the ship. So I would just let the turrets handle all of it. Either that or I would put all the people in the center of the ring next to the ship. And then they would just be like, you know, the vanguard, the last line of defense. But those turrets would just wreck things. So these two got inspiration. Oh boy, who's fighting? I goat. Is he trying to escape? Oh, he is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who do I want? Lumi to. I want to draft him. Her, and I want her to mainly attack Goat because he's trying to break down this door, and that's. I'm not gonna let that happen. She's gonna whoop his ass. Yeah. Wait a minute. You know what? I need a couple of other people. So I want you to come do it too. And I want you to come do it too. And I want you, Matthew, to come do it too. Try to arrest Lumi? No. You need to try to arrest this guy. Uh, fine. Here. Damn, Goat's apparently a badass. Come here, Lumi. Oh, she shot him! She was like, I've had enough of your shenanigans. Nice. Okay. Well, then in that case, I want you to... Ooh, man, she was pissed. This guy is a son of a bitch. Isis, you're going to undraft and you're going to haul goat. And then you are going to... Wait a minute, I gotta undraft you too. You're going to toggle power, okay? I need you to go flip the switch. And then Matthew is gonna tend to Lumi. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I need you, Isis, to focus on. No, don't consume him, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna draft her for a second. And I'm going to undraft you to go tend to Lumi. There. Oh, I should just slow down the play. Duh. Okay. Now will you go handle this? Okay. Undraft and crematorium. There we go. What a piece of shit. I was trying to draft his ass too. Man. Oh, well. Well, we're not going to get through that to that anyway. Because, I mean... This is the uh, the last episode for this playthrough. I'll keep the save open, and if you guys really want to see more of this particular game type, just leave a comment below, and then I can always pick this one up later. But what I thought I would do is, is we focused on this one for a while. Maybe I'll try to stick in a new game somewhere, but if not, then maybe we'll go ahead and hit up the uh, the next five episodes of The Long Dark because I like to kind of do that while it's still fresh in my mind. If I play too many games in between, I start to forget like how to play it, the controls and whatnot, and then I make really dumb mistakes and I have to waste days trying to fix them. But... Man, how bad was she hurt? Bruise, 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 cracked nose, ouch. I should make her... Let's see, she's got all these things, right? 
You gotta pardon my dog, too. Let's see, what's the throne speech? Initiate a speech from the throne. Lumi will go to her throne and call all colonists to listen to a speech there. If all goes well, the listeners, listeners will feel inspired and gain respect. If it goes poorly, the speech will do social damage. The outcome depends on Lumi's social abilities. Oh boy, I never really checked her abilities. Her social is atrocious. So we won't be doing that. Uh, let's see. Speak about someone's romantic virtues while using a psychic suggestion to implant romantic desire in the listener. For days afterwards, the listener will feel psychically induced romantic attraction towards the other person. This greatly increases opinion and makes them much more likely to attempt romantic advances in marriage proposals if they get the chance. This power can be used to connect two other people. Induce love for the caster and force oneself to love another. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so she's, what, 32 and Robert's 1,800 years old because of cryosleep. I'm going to make the two... I'm going to try that, actually. Uh, where's Robert? Here he is. Boop. What? What do you... What? I want to do that. Induce psychic love... Oh, in. So, her. Nope. Oh, because we're both asleep. Well, that's... All right. Gotta wait for them to wake up. Wake up, Lumi. She's not gonna wake up because she got hurt. That's gotta be what it is. We're gonna speed things along. I did do rest until healed, so I guess that's my own fault. I was supposed to get another title thing for the last mission I did, but I think it's broken. I mean, it took the ship away too, and that's kind of screwed. Oh, and if you're wondering what all these construction things are here, um, oh, well, you're about to see, because I've been trying to get them to start building big screen TVs, because it asked me to. I'm gonna slow this down. Um, huh. what do I want to do? I guess I can start this. Let's just get us closer to that later if we actually do revisit this. We probably will revisit this. Look at that. Everyone's building TVs. How cool is that? It's supposed to be entertainment, morale, and all that good stuff, too. So let's go ahead and get all that in there. Man, Robert's really on it. Yeah, that's cool. I kind of put them in almost every room. I don't know if I have all the materials because I was pretty wasteful with materials and building everything else. And then I'd have to sell a bunch of stuff from the missions I did, or I would just take the gold or take the silver as the rewards, and then I would buy the things I need. Like, I, look, this, I just got this Persona Core thing from that last mission, but I don't think I need it. Like, I don't control it for anything. I love that. If you zoom in tight enough, you can actually hear them doing their thing. I even heard an animal getting attacked. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, you know what? These lynxes are always dicks. Where's the closest guy that can wreck this fool? Yes! Draft. You are gonna kill a lynx. You are gonna shoot that lynx in the face. Preferably before he eats the entire hair. Come on. Shoot that bastard. Get him. Come on. Hell yeah. See, now the turrets are on him. Yeah. Get wrecked. Alright, so. No, you're not going to clean blood. You're going to haul animals. Even though I'm really not hurting for meat right now. Everyone over here is... I moved the meditation thing, too. I gave them, like, their own, like, super awesome room. Barrow, go get the lynx. You can clean later. 
I know I set you to high priority and I have a clean base, but still, come on. Thanks, Revenge. That's a pretty dead link. That shotgun was pretty useful, wasn't it? I don't normally let my guys carry those because the, the spread damage against your own allies is too great. I don't like to risk it. Where is Isis meditating? Please go back to cooking when this is over. Oh no, she made she made tons of kibble. We're good. Um, eggs? I got all these eggs, but apparently we don't cook with them. For whatever reason. Oh, Matthew's cooking already too. Sweet. Damn, how long are you going to lay there? Jesus. Wait, I should check her health thing. That's already been all done. Speed it up. I guess she... Oh, hey, what do we got here? Pharaoh charmed Eden by comparing her to a glimmering sun. Eden was attracted and is now Barrow's lover. Barrow and Eden want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Okay. So this is Barrow. Right? He's an evangelist. And Eden. Eden is the researcher. Okay. So... Ha. Huh. I gotta figure out where they sleep. Because a lot of these aren't... Okay, so there's Eden, there's Bean. And this is used by nobody. Well, in that case, let me deconstruct that. And I'll have to build them a double bed. Because Man is using that one. And I think he does my crafting, so I want to leave him in that room. So then what we'll do, let's see, I gotta get somebody who's awake. Is there anybody that's on the move? Clegg, you're praying. Well, I really don't want to interfere. Lenka, what are you doing? Playing harp. Robert, relaxing socially. Okay, I need you to deconstruct that. So then I can build furniture. Let's see, they only need a double bed. And hmm. Let's do it semi-reasonably. What do I got? I got tons of slate. So it'll be a slate double bed. Which I know sounds terrible, but you know. Actually, you know what? That I can just do that. That way I can get that going at the same time. There. Uh, no. Yeah. There. So I need Barrow and Eden to have that room. Come on, move it. Uh. Oh, okay, she's still doing it. Good God, how many freaking... A lot of work needed, okay. Yo, if you wanna... Uh, Eden? Can you do it? Yeah. Since y'all wanna bang, make your own bed. Oh, Jesus, come on, man. Get it right. Where's the solar flare? Knock out the power. That's gonna screw up my, uh... Jesus. Hide in room. Shit. Alright, look, Robert. I need you to finish this. Thank you. Okay. Now, I need to sign this 
to Eden. Oh, they're both evangelists? What were the odds? So this is like Joel Osteen and his wife. <laughs> Great. There we go. Now they got their own bedroom. So that can go, that can go. I know I wore her out. She's probably pissed. Uh, oh man. There we go. Good. I don't think the food's gonna spoil. No, we're good. It's getting colder in there, right? Slow this down just a bit. There we go. Hey, they wanted to sleep together. I don't see no hearts over here. Y'all were supposed to like, you know, brown chicken, brown cow. Whatever. Lumi, word of love. And I want you to start, you know, shenanigans with uh, the Robert. Oh, okay, so psychic. Okay, so I planted it to him. And where's Lumi hiding? Oh, she's right here. For her. Boom. There we go. So now those two are going to be like, somebody rock, rock and knock in them boots. <laughs> Eventually, maybe. I don't know. This is her room. We'll see how that works. I mean, we're already, this whole episode's an overtime episode just for the fun of it, so. Let's see how this plays out, shall we? Let me make sure her social needs are cool. Well, yeah, all right, cool. Catharsis. Felt good to finally unbottle my feelings, okay. Now, one thing I did in this playthrough that I normally don't do, no. One thing I didn't do in this playthrough that I normally do is, uh, the schedule. I usually do two shifts, so I have a day crew and a night crew, and I'm pretty sure my food and production and everything would have been better if I did that, but I just didn't bother this time because I knew that this was going to be a short run for me, you know, five episodes or whatnot, six actually, um, but, you know, if I stuck out this game as long as I did my first playthrough, just for my own personal fun, uh, this game would be this map would be a lot bigger, first of all. Like, I would have this more filled in. Everyone would have their own room, like, right from the get-go. And, um, I would do the two, uh, Oh, what? Really? Just right there, huh? Okay, so we're gonna double-click everybody. Like, I need my whole town. We're gonna draft the whole thing. And apparently, we're gonna go to war in our bedroom. Like, what the hell? Why are they... They're in the house. Dropped right on top of you. They're attacking immediately. They appear very clever. They'll avoid your turrets, field of fire, and notice some of your traps. Well, they can't do that because they're in the, in the building. So we're just gonna have to just go at it. And if people die, people die. I've never seen this before. This is insane. Everyone get in here. Holy crap. I've never done this before. part of this too. understand how this worked because it was a roofed building, right? Like none of that makes any sense.
I guess that's a fitting ending, though, huh? So be it. So anyway, I guess we're done. They wiped us out. Plus, I got a fire. Oh, but I can do this just for the shit of it. Uh, I can go into this map here and... Ah, here we go. And I can just... Eh. And I can just... That's playing God, is what that is. But anyway, this was... That was the end of my group. What I'll probably do is... If we revisit this, because I didn't let the game save. If we revisit this, uh, I'll back it up a little bit and see if that event happens again. If it does, I'm going to have to figure out a different way to do this. Because I've never had that situation where they dropped right on your base like that. So, I... You know, what do you do, right? So, now that I know that the game is capable of throwing that at me, I'll figure out something in terms of defenses, because that was unexpected. Anyway, uh, this was the last 30 for RimWorld, the crash landing survival, which obviously, if I just let this run its course, we wouldn't have survived. This would have been the end, because I have less people on their feet than they do. Well, before I blew everything up, but... If I didn't blow everything up, uh, chances are I would have just been overwhelmed. So we would have lost this scenario. But it's kind of cool. Like, I've never seen that before, so that was a first. Um, but yeah, if we revisit this, this particular game playthrough, I'll load it back up just prior to this event. Because I'm pretty sure it didn't save. And uh, we'll just pick up where we left off and hope we don't get that event again. But what I'll do now is knowing that it does that, I'll rearrange the way that the defenses are because I think the biggest mistake I just made was I had put everyone in one spot which was a choke point so they only had the doorway to shoot through they were all trapped in there and I could have literally just probably set up firing lanes in each wall and just let them funnel out one at a time but you know that's kind of the panic of seeing that happen for the first time so, anyway, like if I really wanted to just end this in a, with a bang, I could do this. Yorkie is the only survivor. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Stick around for the next uh, first 30s. Stick around for the next playthrough. Stick around for my other playlists. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if this was your first video, holy crap, right? But uh, if you're a, a subscriber, welcome back. I just did this little blow-up thing for fun. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.